I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to 6 o'clock content. Today we should have a brand new team of the season, I think it's Turkish League, I did a predictions, we'll see how many were there from the predictions. I'm hoping we get more players than we did for the Saudi League. No, no, no disrespect to the Saudi League, but I'm thinking, or rather, I'm hoping, EA will consider the Turkish League a rung above the, the Saudi League in terms of popularity. That's the only thing I'm going for there, and I'm hoping that they're just going to give us more players than what they did for the Saudi League, because it was a little bit underwhelming. Like, it, it'd be really good if we had, like, 18 to 23 players put into packs rather than just, what was it, 11? So... Uh, hopefully as well, we get La Liga upgrades today as well. As you can see, there is a La Liga-shaped hole in the centre of that squad. It did house Santi Cazorla. Herrera was uh, Odegaard and... Nope, that was it. Uh, I did have uh, Oblak in goal as well, actually. So I wouldn't mind doing a few upgrades and hopefully packing one of those cards back again so that they can go back in there. Or packing someone I haven't reviewed. That would be brilliant. Now, we have Gal Clichy. That isn't a surprise to me at all, to the point where, uh, oh, La Liga, actual La Liga upgrade. La Liga 2, right, hang on, we'll talk about that in a minute, because I think I knew I knew about that anyway. So, Gal Clichy was in the prediction video that I put out, and I said that it would probably be an SBC as well. Huh? I actually thought it would be a flashback, if I'm honest, so I got that bit wrong. But, yeah, I thought this would be a flashback card, rather than a team of the season card, but... It doesn't really make a dip, blind bit of difference. So he's got four star, four star, which is really good. He's French, which makes means he links into any other SBC EA have ever released because they only ever release French SBC cards. And um, medium, medium work rates is okay, but it would be much better if it was high, high or high defensive or whatever. Uh, good pace, really good passing. 99 short passing, that's crazy. Can't shoot for Toffee, that's fine. Attack position is very good though. Uh, crossing is is near near perfect, so that's nice. The dribbling across the board is okay, nothing special. Defending is decent. It's not a bad card. It's it's all right. Not 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 bad at all, especially for a Turkish league team of the season. I don't mind that at all. Only one segment. I'm kind of hoping for something cheap and cheerful here. Really, 83 rated team would be brilliant, wouldn't it? 85 rated team. I'm not saying that's too expensive. But it would have been nice if that was an 83 rated team. Maybe an 83 with an inform at most. But it, yeah, would have been nice. Um, dynamic image on him there as well. I'm not sure if that card is warranted an 85 rated team. It's kind of like one of those, yeah, it's not bad. But there are better cards out there in that position that I'm sure you probably already own. If you don't own any of them and that card fits your team. And he's better than whoever you have there right now then maybe it isn't too bad, and maybe you should consider it. I'm I, I'm just off with prices. Is an 85-rated team, like, 50k? Don't know. I'll have a look at it in a minute when I find out what else is available, because I don't want to ruin everything for me. I like the surprise. So we have been given 81. It's repeatable. That's really, really interesting, really strange. Not quite sure why, but we've been given an 81 plus two rare gold players upgrade. So... That is going to be the whole spectrum of the game. Two 81 plus rated cards for, drum roll please, 11 rares. That kind of leads me to believe that that La Liga upgrade is going to require La Liga cards, which sounds a bit stupid because the last one did, right? The Premier League uh, upgrade pack, that required 11 rare Premier League cards. Now that is 50 chem and 11 rare cards to complete the 81 double upgrade. The La Liga is not the four rare cards that we had for the Premier League. They've they've revised that a little bit, a little bit too generous. They were giving out those packs. Now, not for everybody. I know some people who opened, I don't know, near enough to like 50 of them and didn't get a single team of the season. However, other people, <coughs> me... Uh, up, uh, open no more than 15 and got like four and they were good ones as well Mares, Aubameyang and so on so yeah uh, maybe I would say maybe it did need revising I don't think it did I think just you know 
You, you've released it, do the same for every other league, because I don't think it's fair that you've not done that. 282 pluses could prove to be better though. Who knows? What does it What does it require? What are we gonna have to, yeah, so it's exactly the same, but with, yeah, with, yeah, it's exactly the same. Is that fair? I don't know, to be honest. I, I think people may prefer the four rare players rather than the 282 pluses. I think one of the reasons, I, I say one of the reasons they've done it, if they do this for the French League, I mean, that means you are going to pack a team of the season, like in every other pack, because there aren't that many 82 plus cards in that league anyway. You are going to pack some crazy things, regardless of what upgrade pack they, unless they decide right at the end when they release the French League, unless they decide to do the, the 25k pack, then you're less likely, but still quite likely at the same time. So we'll have to wait and see. That though is going to drive the price of La Liga cards. If you haven't stocked up already, then I would recommend uh, just either having to spend the money or not really. Just just do a couple to test the waters and see what they're all about. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. So, okay, not, not a problem because I wasn't expecting crazy amounts. For some reason, EA don't tend to go mental on a brand new team of the season day. We've got a couple of upgrades to work towards. We've got our Gal Clichy. Let's go look at the objective before we look at the full squad. We have... Falcao, madness. 90 rated. Um, only four. Score and assist in four wins. That's nothing really, is it? That's that's easy. And then assist a goal in three separate rivals matches using Colombian players. I mean, that's simple enough. If you've got like Quadrado or whomever, really. Cordoba's foot birthday card. That was an unlock, I'm pretty sure. Uh, score two goals in two separate matches on minimum world class or rivals using players with 85 shooting. Most strikers these days are going to have that, so you'll do that without even thinking about it. And then score in three separate squad battles matches on minimum professional difficulty or rivals using Turkish League cards, which, again, shouldn't be too difficult regardless of who you have because it's only scoring three. It's not scoring wins. There are only four win requirements, and that is scoring and assisting with players with four-star weak foot. That is quite simple to do. You have to do that in rivals, and it may take you a little bit of time if you're not particularly good at the game and if you are in a higher division and so on and so forth, but generally speaking, that ain't going to be difficult to do. Now, let's find out how many players are in this team. In the God damn it. Well, they've done it, but there we go. Let's move over to the team. Uh, we have a Visca. No surprise there. We have Cruiser, no surprise there. Sosa, no surprise. Guilherme was one of my outside chances. They've included him, not bad. Soloth is in there. Uh, Mariano, so far got all these right. In fact, there is the two players I didn't get right, which I'm a little bit disappointed by considering there aren't that many uh, cards in this team of the season. Uh, Kalinic, the left mid, the Turkish left mid there. Is it Siverspor? Am I saying that right? Is that the team off the top of my head? And then Donk who is, of course, from Galatasaray, and I've got everybody else correct. The, the the frustrating thing about that is they've left out a lot of players, like a crazy amount of players that could have had it from that league. There are there are a lot of players from the Turkish league who were worthy of Team of the Season cards. Hutchinson was one of them, for example. Look at the state of my hair. I need to open hairdressers. Um, yeah, Hutchinson was one of them. Uh, Luis Gustavo was another one. There's just loads. I could sit here for days and name them. That, that could have been given cards. So, I think Guilherme could be a good one. He's got a League SBC card, of course, but he does look actually quite good. He's Brazilian as well, which makes it easier to link. Visca is going to be incredible, and he'll be super cheap as well because he just doesn't link to anybody, apart from Edin Dzeko and Pjanic, but nobody uses those cards. Um, Sosa will probably be one of the most expensive cards from that team of the season, maybe Cruiser as well because of his German links. But all in all, that is actually quite a nice set of cards. It's just a shame that they didn't give us as many as maybe we could have had. But it is what it is. I mean, that that is it, right? So let's, let me, I mean, I probably should have stayed with it for this. Um, I'm going to go and build a couple of those upgrades. I, I might just rinse through all of the cards I had saved to do the 81 pluses and just hope for the best. But um, Gal Clichy is, uh, the price isn't coming in right now. I, I'm, I'm airing on the side of it should have been cheaper. But I mean, if, if you, like, this is the thing about 
anything in life, right? Just because someone doesn't think it's value doesn't mean that you don't think it is. And if you think it is, then it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. So if you think that Gal Clichy is good for your team and you think that card is better than your current left back and you have untradeables and you're a, an, an Arsenal fan or a fan of, of the club that he plays for currently or, or whatever other club that he's ever played for and you think, Do you know what? I like him. He would fit my team. Let's go for it. Who is anybody else to tell you that that card isn't worth it? However, in my honest opinion, I just think there are better cards out there that you could be going out and buying. I mean, I've got a foot birthday on Marvi, who's French and who will link into the majority of teams that Clichy will link into, and I would prefer to keep him. He's got skills, he's got a weak foot, he's got the agility and, and the pace and everything about him that, that I need. I don't need that card. That's why I'm not personally going to do it. 85 isn't terrible, but it could could have been much, much better. Let me go see if I can do any of these La Ligas, because I would like to try and test the water as much as possible. The only problem I have is that, I'm A, I'm using a lot of them, and B, I don't think I really stocked up that highly. And just like that, we have three 81 pluses and three La Liga... 82 pluses and a two rare gold players packs. Let's start with that. So Gal Clichy is currently coming in at between 75 and 80, which is just too much in my opinion. Uh, I don't know where I got 50k from. Like, I just don't know. Like, like, my head isn't very together. I don't, wait, there we go. He's he's value. He's about 2k, 2.5k right now. Um, yeah, I just can't comprehend numbers half the time. And I can't. I can't remember what an 83 or an 84 or an 85 rate team is. I just can't remember it. So I apologize. But uh, either way, I'll start with the 81s. Um, Gal Clichy should be no more than 40k in my opinion. So I, I would I would probably avoid it. I mean, I am going to avoid it. But if I were you, I would avoid it as well. But like I said, I don't know your situation. So if he fits your team and if you like him for personal reasons, who am I to say don't do it, right? But um, that's just my opinion. The 81 double upgrade is, I mean, at the moment we've had one board, we've had one non-board. I think a bit of fun if you've got some random um, gold cards or rare gold cards in your club. And you can generate like that card, for example, when the Bundesliga upgrades drop, when that team of the season is out, that card will cost you two to 3,000 coins. That card now, not so much because obviously that's been and gone. But that card will cost you two to 3,000 coins. So you are going to end up, even if you get 82s, you're going to end up packing cards that will be worth money over time. Yes, okay, you can't sell them, but you can use them in those upgrades. So we've had two boards and no walkouts from the 81 pluses. But that's okay because the chances of that actually happening are rare anyway, right? And we've got ourselves a pretty good one here in Goretzka, an 84 rated card. So that's not bad at all. I'm all right with that. That's fine. That is um that is a pretty good 81 pack. Two 84s and two from Bayern. That is a class pack. Uh, not as good as a team of the season, of course, but that's 14,000 coins there or thereabouts right there. Not not quite, but not far off at the same time. So that's good. That won't... They won't go into the um, Bundesliga team of the season upgrades. They will probably be used in either the SBC for Bayern or I will do something else with them. They'll just go down as standard 84 rated cards, right? But either way, these are the ones you want to test the waters with. They have been met with mixed signals. They're worth or valued rather at the moment around 20k. It's going to go up. It's going to be probably more than what the Premier League one was. Reason being is Messi is available. There are quite a few expensive ones in there that people want to pack. And of course, those who missed out on the Premier League, who didn't do as many and regret not doing them, will now plow into this. So these will be opened probably more than the Premier League ones were. Are they worth it though? I'm not going to be able to judge them from three packs. If I pack a good one or none at all, I can't say yes they are or no they're not really. But we're going to walk out in the first one. It's not a team of the season, but it is a walkout. It is going to be Isco, which is pretty good. I mean, the, the thing about this is, I know a lot of people would be saying, well, I prefer the other ones because I get double the chance. But you don't really because they've cut out a lot of the crap here with the 82s. So, Adderese is the bare minimum you can get. And then, of course, we've got a nice little walkout there, which, which we'll do for another um, SPC of some sort that they hopefully will release this week. If not, then we'll move into the next team of the season. But I, I don't mind it because even though we only get two cards, you've got a really good chance of getting something decent in here. 
One walkout so far. Can we keep the boards going? That's all I ask. No. We're not going to get a board in the second one. I just want... I mean, obviously, I just want a team of the season. I'm not going to go mad on these. I might do another three. Not in today's video, but in general, I might do another three. I'm not wasting coins on untradeables, though. That's, that's my... My thing. I, I spent a lot on the Premier League. I'm not going to do that again for this. Our final pack of today's episode is not a team of the season. It's not a walkout either. It is a shame. I wanted to uh, to end on one, but hey, you know, you can't have everything. I had good luck through the Premier League. I was unlikely to get good luck through La Liga, but uh, there it is. Let me know what you think of those upgrades. Are they better than the four Riz? I think, I think they probably are, to be honest, because... In those four rays, I opened maybe, I don't know, 10? Nah, maybe not that many. Maybe, I don't know, between 5 and 10 on my on my Road to Glory account. I opened a lot on another account. And I've got maybe 13 to 15 on this account. And I don't think once did I get 283s in the same pack. So, you know, you could argue that... But then again, you can't rinse them as quick, can you? I was going to say, you could argue that I've had more luck in these, even though I've not had Team of the Seasons, but I'm getting higher rated cards consistently. But then at the same time, they'll probably end up going straight back into an upgrade because I, I don't, you know, it's to try and offset the price as much as possible. Yeah, I know. Because uh, in the in the four rears, you had maybe four cards you could put straight back into another upgrade. Or you had three cards you could put straight back into another upgrade very rarely did you have less than three so on this instance yeah i think it's going to end up draining a lot more coins that was the thought process behind it from ea by the looks of things you'll have to do more to be able to redo them if that makes sense in terms of promo packs today 55k packs don't know if we had a lightning round probably did but uh, i'm not too concerned with those because i don't like to spend money but there we go what do you think of the content quick rundown La Liga upgrade I think is probably a little bit better maybe but the repeatability is going to cost you more the 81 plus double upgrade is decent I don't mind that at all I will be rinsing those and the Gal Cliche SBC is just too expensive it needs to be half the price in my opinion I think 40k would have been a really nice price that not to give us the card but just to say hey do you want this it's going to cost you 40k what do you reckon i think that would have been quite nice but you know it is what it is and a decent little set of cards for the turkish league and a good little foul cow in objectives not too difficult to complete not a bad day of content i will say if you have enjoyed today's video hit that like button subscribe to the channel for new and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now